Mathematics Advanced Subsidiary Level, Paper 1, 2022, Part 6. Question number 13. A function fx is defined for x is bigger than 0 and is such that and this is the derivative for, um, equation, so it's differentiated, 4x plus 6 over x squared. The curve y equals fx pass through the point, negative 2, negative 1. Find the equation. Now, this is a very, very nice, straightforward level 1 question. So page 318, you will see example 8 in the AS level mathematics textbook. It's really going to help you. So I'm just taking that derivative equation and I'm going to integrate it okay so um, let's maybe just write it in this form before I so let's rather just put it like that okay so to get y I'm going to integrate and 4x I could have actually put the integration sign in the top okay d x so i'm going to say if i integrate so it's 4x squared over 2 plus 6 and now i add 1 so it's um, minus 1 and i will now divide so 2 oh, yes sorry the negative 1 it's like it's not so clear it it's negative 2 can i just write it better <laughs> because that's why it, it's unclear. Okay, so let, it was negative 2. Let's just write it. So negative 2 plus 1 will be negative 1, and I divide by that negative 1. And don't forget your plus c. So I'm, I'm sitting with 2x squared, and then minus 6, and bring the x down again. And now substitute the point in. Very nice question. Substitute the point in negative 2, negative 1. So I'm going to now, if I substitute, I'm going to say this is x, this is y, so it's negative 1 is equal to 2, negative 2 squared minus 6, and then it's negative 2 plus c. <laughs> Do you see what I did? Mm, it's when I worked to too long, too long hours. Okay, so plus C. So it's going to be negative 1, and this is going to be 4 times 2, 8, and this is going to be, this is going to be negative 3 multiplied, so it's positive 3 plus C. So negative 8, neg oh, negative 1, negative 8, negative 3, and that's the value of C. So this is negative 12, so, basically, therefore, y is equal to 2x squared. I'm going back to this step. This step. Can I just show you? This step. So, 2x squared. I can actually just leave it on that level. Um, minus 6 over x minus 12. And that's your equation. Really a nice question. Make sure you can do the basics. Um, then I just... Going to go to the exam report. Okay, let's just see the report. Okay, then it's, it's question number 13. Oh, the second last question. It's nice. Okay. So, although fx was given, learners differentiated to find the equation and use the equation of a straight line to find the equation of the curve. No, it's working back. It's going to integration. Okay. Um, yeah, basically. So then I'm just did this and I just got and I just substitute this. Okay. So it's almost like I want to find the equation before it was differentiated. And that's why I use integration to go back. Okay. Question number 14. The last question. It's a nice feeling. Okay. The diagram shows the curve. Okay. Meeting the x-axis. Let's just get my pen correct. X-axis at A and the y-axis at B. 
write down the coordinates of A and B. Now, I must be very honest, this space is very, very short. So now just do because I want to. So you can say, check page 19 or on page 19. I just that I want you to get used to working. So then you're going to go back and you're going to say question 14a. Okay, just because I just needed a little bit of space um, and that space was not very, very big. Okay. So if I want to see where that curve, this is the curve. If I want to see where it cuts the x-axis, I make y zero. So in the place I put zero and I go 3x plus 2. Now if I square this and I square this, I get 3x plus 2 equals zero. So 3x equals negative 2. I divide 3, I divide 3 and the value of x is equal to negative 2 over 3. And that on the sketch is point A. So negative 2 over 3 and the value of y, don't forget, is 0. Okay, it's not necessary. You can write it next to it. But I'd rather just going to go, so where it cuts, the y-axis, we did it in linear programming also a lot in ordinary. We make the value of x 0. But that's also in A is very important, that this statement. So in the place of y, I'm just going to say now in the place of x, I put the 0. And I'm going to say square root of 2. And you can leave it like that. Okay. It's more simplified than writing it in decimals. So therefore, I'm just going to say that B. And don't forget it's 0. And then square root 2. Okay. What you can do. What you can. But rather leave it on this. Rather not just uh, um, saying the answers. Although I think they will just focus on the answers in this question. Okay. But let's just go back. So, basically, number B, the region AOB is rotated 360 about the x-axis. Very important. Find the volume of the shaded region, giving your answer in terms of pi. Very important, in terms of pi. So, don't forget that this was now negative 2 over 3, okay, which I'm going to use this was not because it's the x-axis. Now, how do I? I want to. Oh, I did. I did not give you a page here for this volume. So let's just go to integration. Now I must quickly search for integration, and I go to volume, um, area close by the curve and two tangents. Um, I just check quickly for you because it's a very straightforward one. Um, if you want to just quickly go and see that volume, that's still area. I'm just, oh, volume. It starts there on page 343. Um, but around the x-axis, um, y-axis, I think on page, I'm just going to write here for you. You can go to page uh, 343. Okay, and on. Okay, so basically, don't forget that volume is pi and then you take the formula and you square it so and don't forget also take always the the biggest zero is bigger than negative two over three so the zero on top then negative two over three and then you take the formula three x plus two and then you square it and it's dx so basically it's pi 0, negative 2 over 3, and if you square it, you're going to get 3x plus 2 dx. Okay, and now I can keep the, the pi outside, and I'm going to integrate. So I'm just going to say it's 3x2 over 2 plus 2x, okay, or just 2x, and it's over 1, okay, and then it's 0 and negative 2 over 3. And now I can just do my substitution. You can still keep your pi here. And then just say 3 over 2. Okay, rather, sorry, yeah, 3 over 2 is correct. 
and then I'm first going to put the zero square plus two zero okay and this close minus and now it's again the same but now I substitute the negative two over three so it is okay let's rather do okay, sorry I'm just too many brackets okay let's just make it three over two and then negative two over three square plus two negative two over three okay and then I get pi okay now let's just check quickly make sure this is zero zero so that's fine okay and then I'm going to say I'm just going to do it a bit longer because I don't want to use a calculator so it's going to be four over nine and I want you to follow in the video and then I'm just going to say plus and but don't forget a positive times it's going to be negative four over three I don't want you to make mistakes in this one so it's pi okay and now just you you can if you simplify this keep the negative and now you're just going to have two over three so if you simplify this do you can one okay it's almost <laughs> I'm doing it long but it's going one, it's going three, it's going one, it's going two. So it's two over three. It's just so many two over threes. I don't want you to get used. I'm confused. So minus four over three. And that, if you're going to simplify that, you're going to get two over three. Two over three pi units to the power of three because it's volume so 2 abc 3 minus 4 abc 3 i'm just checking so it was a negative inside so it was actually like this it's, there's so many 203s but then it turns into the positive value there okay and this was my last question wow let's just check the exam report and then we're done okay so if I look at this, this um, is basically just saying that was well answered, fairly well answered. Those who struggled did not know the volume expression for a solid rotated about the x-axis. Others substitute the limits wrongly by substituting the larger value before the smaller. smaller. Now, it's always, um, it's always that you first substitute the top and then the bottom. It's very important, especially with the signs. Okay, so make sure that you do that correct. The C's will cancel out, so that's fine. And there was the final answer. And that's the end of question paper number one. Paper one, A is Mathematics 2022. As your final exams approach, I want to highlight the importance of the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbooks. If you don't have them yet, you can find them at the following bookshops. These textbooks will be your reliable study companions, guiding you towards mathematical success. For educators aiming for exceptional maths exam results, start using the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbooks used by leading schools in your classroom. They are part of the NEET catalog and can be easily obtained within your ministry's textbook budget. Make sure to communicate your request to your region's procurement department to empower your learners with the best educational resources. Furthermore, schools have the option to place direct orders with us and we offer bulk order discounts. Reach out to us via email at the address below. Best of luck in your maths journey.